How y'all doing today? It's your boy Eat Right Guy. I'm back with another video. And so for this video, I want to answer one of my subscribers' questions. And she wanted to know, are there any foods that can help alleviate flatulence or gas? And they are. So one is peppermint. So like peppermint tea, actually cooking with the peppermint leaf or using peppermint oil can help with flatulence. Also ginger, pineapples, papaya, and dairy-free yogurt that has probiotics added to it. But for the rest of this video, I kind of want to talk about things that actually could cause you to have gas because those foods that I just listed off, they may only be alleviating the symptoms and not really focusing on the root cause. So some of the things that causes you to produce excessive amounts of gas could be consuming too much air. So doing things like chewing gum, drinking uh, beverages through a straw can actually um, allow your body to consume too much air and that air travels through your GI tract and actually can cause you to have more gas. Also, eating beans can, per, can make your body produce gas. And this is because beans are high in fiber and they're a complex carbohydrate. And we have beneficial bacteria in our gut that actually will break down these fibers and these carbohydrates and produce gas. And beans are some of the healthiest things that you can eat, so I would never say avoid beans. But some of the ways you can reduce um, the chances of you getting gas from eating beans is one, soaking beans, uh, like if you have dry beans, soaking them overnight in water. And then right before you start cooking the beans, discard the water and rinse the beans out. That's going to get um, rid of some of the complex carbohydrates and can help you reduce your gas. Also, just kind of eating smaller portions of beans throughout the day, especially if you're not really used to eating a large amount of beans. And just giving your body time to adjust it and just over time, just increasing your intake of beans. And like I said, you don't want to completely cut out beans. You just kind of want to use methods to kind of alleviate some of those gas symptoms. Also, vegetables, certain vegetables can cause um, gas. Most notably, cruciferous vegetables or sulfur containing vegetables, things like broccoli, kale, cabbage, even asparagus. And just kind of like with beans, you, I don't want you to completely cut these vegetables out of your diet because they're some of the most nutrient dense foods that you can eat. But you just probably want to just lower your intake and just eat smaller portions um, throughout the day until your body can get adjusted to it. Also, fructose can cause gas. And this is pretty much most notably in sugary beverages that are high in high fructose corn syrup or just high in fructose, period. And so, like I said, sugary beverages, soft drinks, especially when they're carbonated, also fruit juices can cause you to have gas. And so uh, some of the things that you can do with this is eliminate all the processed sugary drinks. And instead of drinking like orange juice or apple juice, um, just eat the actual fruit instead. And next uh, we have the sugar substitutes. So these, this is something like sorbitol that's in sugar-free gum. And sorbitol actually acts as a laxative and our bodies, we don't have the enzyme to break that down. So we do have uh, bacteria that can break it down and that can cause you to have gas. So definitely stay away from the, um, the sugar-free gum if you're really gassy. And so those are some of the things that can actually cause it. I might have left out a few of them, but it's really important to actually keep a food diary because everybody's different. And some people may get gassy from eating cruciferous vegetables or some people may get gassy from eating beans and then some people may not. So it's good to keep a food diary so you can kind of keep track of what you're eating to kind of pinpoint uh, which foods are causing gas. And so hopefully that answered your question. Um, if you have another question or if anybody else watching this video has a question, you can leave it down in, at the bottom in the comment section or you can send me an email at eatrightguy at gmail.com. Y'all have a nice day.